how to upgrade your single DSTV decoder to Explorer. You might be using this type of decoder. You might be using this type of decoder you want to change it to Explorer. Or your decoder is this model. Or you are even using the HD. Or you are using this little one, S model. You want to upgrade it to an Explorer. How can you do it by yourself? Stay tuned till the end on this video. I will show you and demonstrate to you how to do it at home by yourself without spending the money calling a technician. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. On this channel, we share. Now, follow me. Let's share. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to your channel. Welcome to our channel. In this channel, we talk about technology. We talk about electronic. We talk about satellite. We talk about refrigeration and air conditioning. We talk about business. We talk about entrepreneurship. We talk about handyman. We talk about what can put money in your pocket and what can save money in your pocket. My name is Alphonse Foku. Call me like that. Thank you for watching. Guys, welcome to this channel again. I'm going to explain to you how to change your single DSTV decoder to an Explorer. Just follow me and then you will be able to chain your own at home. Now, you got your single decoder working in your city room like this one. At the back of the decoder, there's a one cable going to LMB, going to LMB in on your decoder like this. You got only one cable going to your LMB like this. We call it LMB cable. This cable is coming from the dish. Now, to upgrade to Explorer is just to chain your single HD decoder by Explorer 1. So what you do, you go in the house. You just unscrew the LMB cable. You unscrew it and you go and put your Explorer. It can be Explorer 2 like this one or it can be Explorer 1 like this one. Now, when you go inside the house, you unplug your single decoder. Now you bring your brand new decoder, Explorer. Explorer 1, Explorer 2, or Explorer 3. You take out the cable and you go to LMB in also. This on the Explorer is written uh, unique cable in. You go and put that cable there. You put the cable as you have, remove it to your single LMB. And then you supply your HD, HDMI cable. You subscribe, supply maybe your AV if you are still using the AV. And then you put the power on, on your decoder. Now you have replaced the decoder, your single decoder, to, with your Explorer decoder. But it's not going to work, guys. Even if you phone my teachers like that, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Why? Because outside there, you are still using the single LMB. You have to go out and take that your single LMB, change it with smart LMB. And then in the market, you got dual smart LMB like this one. Like this one. Dual smart LMB like this one. You got it in the market. Like this one. You got smart LMB, you got four input like this one. Like this one. You got smart LMB like this one, got Joule, and you got smart LMB like, like this one. So now it depends which one you choose. I don't know if you have a Joule smart LMB, or you got this smart LMB, or you got this LM, a smart LMB. But the idea is that you're going to go out there, you need a screwdriver like this. It can be the star screwdriver. Or it can be a flat screwdriver. You go out, you're gonna remove your LMB. What I want you to do, you will see your LMB look at four o'clock like this. Your LMB will look at four o'clock like this. So you're gonna remove your single LMB there and you will put now a smart because Explorer work only with uni cable. Explorer work only with set CR LMB or smart LMB. Okay. So you remove your single LMB, 
which was working with your single decoder and now you're gonna put a smart so you just check the way the lmb was fitting don't touch the dish don't move the dish what you do you just lose the screws holding the lmb and then you put back your smart lmb you bought with together with your explorer you just put it the same way so the, the, this inclination must be four o'clock remember if we put like this it's three o'clock if i put like this it's four o'clock so you remove that one you remove that one you put it in, 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 with this inclination of four o'clock don't move the dish you just remove the lmb and you put the smart lmb and then you take the same cable who was on your single lmb make sure you choose one of the uni cable because on the smart lmb on this smart lmb you got three uni cable you got universal don't use the universal one universal and with white color and then you can see this one still have a blue color so you choose one of the blue color one you screw your cable who was going to your single lmb there when you screw it there when you screw it there like this you go inside now you put channel 100 and you scan your decoder after you scan your decoder you're gonna have your channel 100 work if you're in south africa channel 100 is actually most less to show you that your signal is fine you're gonna see on your dstv installation wizard you're gonna see a blue bar on your right hand side if you don't see the blue bar that means you still not have a signal in the secret is that when you remove the lmb be careful make sure the inclination of the lmb is still at four o'clock if you succeed that one and then you don't move the dish you stand a chance to have your signal well and that will save a lot of money in your pocket if you are using the jewel smart lmb you can choose any of the two any of the two will work you can choose but with explorer you use only a smart lmb if you use another lmb if it's not a set cr lmb or smart lmb it will not work okay because the smart lmb got the index and the uh, user band on it and the user band explorer have to work on at least three user band you must have a user band to watch you must have a user band to record and you you must have a user band for the software okay so now if you have already changed your lmb and you have changed the decoder inside the house the only step you need to do now is to call multi choice to the activation of your new explorer guys it's very simple do you need to call somebody to do the changing of your decoder and the changing of your lmb i don't think so if you did listen what i have explained to you you really don't need another person to come and do the changing of your LMB and the changing of your Explorer. After you finish doing those changing, like I say, you're gonna call multi choice because multi choice now have to do the activation online with you. You're gonna give them your address, your telephone number, and your 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 ID number, and they'll be able to transfer your detail from the previous decoder to your Explorer uh, decoder. So. Your, pri your previous single decoder, the detail who was there, gonna be now transferred to your uh, new decoder, which is Explorer. And there, they will activate your functionality, and now you can now enjoy your Explorer by using your ketchup, your, 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 your box office, your recording, your high definition of the, the, the Explorer. Guys, I believe this video have had something to you. And then if it did really add something to you, share this video to who doesn't need it. Because those who doesn't need it now, tomorrow they will want to have the information we are sharing here. Guys, subscribe to this channel like you usually do. If you have done it already, thank you very much. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. Guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time to my next video. We are a family.